After eight years of enduring President Barack Obama's rampant hypocrisy, his final speech was nothing less than the great conclusion to the hyper-normalization that characterized his presidency. You, 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 you can tell that... You can tell that I'm a lame duck because nobody's following instructions. If I had told you eight years ago that America would reverse a great recession, reboot our auto industry, and unleash the longest stretch of job creation in our history. If I had told you that we would open up a new chapter with the Cuban people, shut down Iran's nuclear weapons program without firing a shot, take out the mastermind of 9-11, If I had told you that we would win marriage equality and secure the right to health insurance for another 20 million of our fellow citizens, if I had told you all that, you might have said our sights were set a little too high. But that's what we did. After my election, there was talk of a post-racial America. And such a vision, however well intended, was never realistic. Race remains a potent and often divisive force in our society. Now, I've lived long enough to know that race relations are better than they were 10 or 20 or 30 years ago, no matter what some folks say. You can see it not just in statistics, you see it in the attitudes of young Americans across the political spectrum. For native-born Americans, it means reminding ourselves that the stereotypes about immigrants today were said almost word for word about the Irish and Italians and Poles, who it was said were going to destroy the fundamental character of America. And as it turned out, America wasn't weakened by the presence of these newcomers. These newcomers embraced this nation's creed, and this nation was strengthened. So, it's that spirit, a faith in reason and enterprise, and the primacy of right over might that allowed us to resist the lure of fascism and tyranny, an order based not just on military power or national affiliations, but built on principles, the rule of law, human rights, freedom of religion and speech and assembly and an independent press, an intolerance of dissent and free thought, a belief that the sword or the gun or the bomb, or the propaganda machine is the ultimate arbiter of what's true and what's right. And that's why, for the past eight years, I've worked to put the fight against terrorism on a firmer legal footing. That's why we've ended torture, worked to close Gitmo, reformed our laws governing surveillance to protect privacy and civil liberties. We should reduce the corrosive influence of money in our politics and insist on the principles of transparency and ethics in public service. I have a feeling that's not the last we'll hear from Mr. Obama. Yes, we can. Yes, we did. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. May God continue to bless the United States of America.